And faith leaders are speaking out about comments made by Governor Pete Ricketts at a meeting Monday afternoon. One of the pastors in the meeting posted a video about the incident that has now gone viral on social media. Reporter City Gray shares faith leaders' reaction and what they say needs to happen next. Pastor Jerry Parker says the phrase stings every time he hears it. That term you people separated black people from everybody else. Uh, it was uh, a term that of course over the years has been a racist term and um, I'm kind of uh, offended about people who say get over it. He didn't mean it that way. Yes he did. You had to have been in the room. I felt demoralized. I felt belittled. It's the reason Parker posted a now viral video on social media following a meeting with Governor Ricketts, the mayor and police chief. Black leaders in Omaha, you people. And I walked out on him. Parker tells 3 News Now the governor responded using the phrase you people after another pastor brought up safety concerns of the black community. Where the hell were you guys when? And then uh, the sound people stood up. People were protesting loudly, uh, some of them, and I was sitting next to them. That's when I heard the problem with you people is, or the problem I have with you people is. Um, so that was the context of it and how I'm not sure uh, how it could have been repaired after that. Anything said after that, um, in my opinion, uh, could not have been productive. He did say you people, I was stunned Yes, there were preachers as well as community leaders that got up and walked out. Pastor Portia Cavett says she was one of the few women in the room. She didn't leave the meeting after the comment, but... I'm appalled that he even thought he had to go on the news to send his apology. I was in the room. You didn't apologize to me. The governor issued an apology via a statement after inquiries were made by the media in which he said... I chose my words poorly and apologized when it became apparent that I had caused offense. But Pastor Tony Sanders says he thinks the governor's words were taken out of context. It was then through passionate exchange that the governor moved to the edge of his seat and with passion countered the passion that he had received by saying, where in the hell were you people when I was trying to pass LB 791? The bill provides more transparency to wrongdoing by law enforcement officers. But Cavett says there's a bigger issue. It's not about what the governor said and calling us you people. A young man lost his life and we are talking about Black Lives Matter. This city, this Douglas County attorney just told us that a black life did not matter. Parker says he hopes to move past the tense moment and have another conversation with the governor. Jesus taught reconciliation, so I'm always seeking to reconcile, and that is my hope uh, that we can uh, come together again and get back at that table. In Omaha, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now.